Something about cleaning out the garage right before I film just makes me feel better about making you guys good, clean, fun content. So I'd be remiss to have a video about weight loss or losing weight and not talk about why it's such a hard and, and challenging journey and why I respect those of you that are going through it. First and foremost, that's just a lot to unpack. What we go through in that process are things like changing our habits and habits are what we've done every day of our life to get us to this point. So Ultimately, we're having to change the things that we've done on a daily basis every single day for up, you know, 40, 50, 30 years, whatever it may be, and all of a sudden we're saying, I'm just gonna change that completely and do something different from here on out. That is hard, like real hard. Also, you have to change things like nutrition and get comfortable with new forms of exercise and, and there's all just, there's so, it's like, it's like moving to an entirely different country. There's just so much to do in that journey that I completely understand why it's hard. And there are a lot of things that you can do to work yourself in that direction. And there are a lot of ways of making those changes too. Like food. To cycling. Oh yeah. Why are we still on this scene? But you're looking for a quick workout on the rower. And that we can do. So let's start with the basics like how do you sit on the machine? How do you set your feet? How do you hold the handle? And how do you basically move on this machine to make a workout effective, thereby making your weight loss attempt much more impactful, if you will. So these are the basics that you're gonna take every time you get on the machine. And I cannot encourage you enough. Use these as a checklist so that every time you sit down, you walk through these and then you can get your workout started. didn't really go the way I wanted it to. So if you've never done this before, the basics of the movement are really what you need to start with and get very comfortable with. Now, those things are very complicated if we get deep, 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 deep into this movement, but for the basics, all you need to know are that you're going to set up at this catch position. This is the front of the position. You wanna brace tight through your midline and you wanna be pushing through your legs first. And it's that leg push that creates the majority of the work. Once the legs are about to finish, then the hips swing open. Once that happens, then you're gonna snap the arms in. So a lot of people will describe it as legs, hips, arms. And then we return by doing the exact opposite because we want to prep ourselves to be in the same position at the catch every time. So it's like a mirror image. If I drove legs first, hips second, arms last, then I'm going to push the arms away first, close the hips, and then let the legs return second. And what's important to remember is that on the drive, the push this way, you're going to push as much as you can through your legs. 60% of your force production comes from the legs. So push, then as the legs extend, the hips swing, and then the arms snap in and push away. Now, it was 60% legs, 30% hips, 10% arms. That's how much of my work is coming in the drive from each portion of my body. On the return, we call that recovery because we recover. So what's gonna change is that I'm gonna keep those percentages, 60, 30, 10, except this time it's going to be an amount of time to recover. Meaning in the amount of time it takes me to go that way, I'm giving my arms only 10%, then my hips get 30% and my legs take up 60% of the return time. Now that's because they do all the work. I wanna give them plenty of time to help me recover all the way to the catch.
all you gotta do is just repeat that over and over and over and just refine that movement. So it's leg drive, hip swing arms, arms release, body closes, legs relax. Push and relax. Push and relax. That's the rhythm, and rowing is just a rhythm. Get comfortable on this machine, establishing that rhythm, and this thing starts to make sense once you can establish a rhythm. So before you get started, make sure that you warm up. I could take you through a whole bunch of different warm ups, but that would just take a long time. And we've got some other great videos, so if you need warm ups, make sure you check those videos out. I'm gonna go ahead and link them right about now. All right, so this workout is scalable up and down, and it's perfect for weight loss, uh, and as well, getting a good aerobic workout. So it's gonna get your heart elevated, it's gonna make you work hard, and it's going to help you kind of get started in this journey, and it's scalable up and down, meaning that you can adjust this to whatever your needs are. So the, the more work you want out of this, the further you go. The, the earlier you are in your journey, the, the less you put into this uh, in the amount of time that you row. So I would encourage you that you take your time and get comfortable first before just going crazy on this. So here's the workout. It's going to be 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, then one minute on, one minute off, two minutes on, two minutes off, four minutes on, four minutes off, and so on and so on. So you'll continue to add time to it, doubling the amount of time of work and rest every single time. And you just go as high as you can, and then we come back down. So however far you go, you have to come back. So make sure that you pay attention to the fact that you need a little bit of effort left in you. You can't just go for broke on a four minute piece. You still have to do four on, four off, then two on, two off, one on, one off, 30 on, 30 off. So to program the monitor for this workout, what I'm gonna do is starting by hitting the menu button, that gets the monitor on. Next, I'm gonna to go to select workout, then new workout, then intervals, and then intervals variable. Now this allows me to set however many intervals I plan on doing. So for example, let's say we're gonna to go to four minutes of workout time. I'll start with time. I'm gonna change this to 30 seconds. So right arrow and then the plus button three times. Left arrow, zero it out. Then I'm gonna go down to rest time. Hit the plus button three more times. And now I've got 30 on, 30 off. I hit the check mark. Now I'm gonna set interval two, which is going to be one minute and one minute. So one, over, zero that out. Down to rest time, one, over, zero it out. There's my one minute and one minute. Check mark, time. This time it's two and two. So there's two and two. Check mark, time, four. Right arrow and four. Check mark, and then I would just work my way back down. So time two and two, time one and one, time 30 and 30. After all that, I'm gonna hit the check mark, and then no more intervals. Now it's all programmed into my monitor. I can hit units, and I'm to my workout screen. So remember guys, if you're getting started on your weight loss journey, do not approach this thing and attempt to crush it. I only want you to go so far as you're comfortable for day one. Now, come back to this workout repeatedly, and every time you gain a little bit more confidence, then you can take a step further. But your goal with this first time doing the workout, if you're on a weight loss journey, is to score a win. I want you to be, I want you to walk away from this workout feeling confident, happy, like you succeeded in the day. I don't want you to walk away having felt like you got nothing left and you just failed at the workout. So always start, what I would say, start cautiously. Each time you're gonna learn a little bit and you'll learn a little bit about how much more you can handle. Make this a building block workout. Come back to it, add intensity as you do this workout repeatedly. And remember, you don't summit Everest in a day. I mean, except for that like one guy who did it in nine hours. But we're not that guy. We have a much different journey. We're all independent. Everybody's got their own separate journey. You just have to take responsibility for what yours is and set the parameters that are going to lead to your success. And that's why this workout is so great is it can be as short or as long as you need it to be to define success for you in your journey. 
So guys, please know, I support you in every step of this journey, along your weight loss, along your fitness, whatever your goal may be. But if you're here for weight loss, I get it. I know how hard it can be to work through that. I've worked with tons of clients and I honestly mean that. I wish you the best of luck. I hope that we can be a great resource for you in what you're trying to accomplish and I know it's not easy. I know every step of the journey can be hard and it's a fight but we support you guys and that's why we want to put this content out there for you is so that you can feel like you have a place to, to go, people to talk to, a community that supports you and the knowledge that you need to get there. And while we may just be a, a step in that journey, we're proud to be that. So I honestly mean this when I say it, but I believe that the rower is for everyone. And that is what matters to me about this, that we make this accessible to anybody who's interested. And if this is something that you wanna pursue further, you wanna tackle a specific goal, whether it's weight loss or a 500 meter or a 2K, or you're just getting started and you want the basics, head on over to our website, darkhorserowing.com slash athlete, where you can sign up for our program that is going to give you our library of workouts and you can pick and choose what you want to use and when. It's our community that makes rowing for everyone. And as always guys, thank you for tuning in. We will see you in the next episode. We will see you on the other side. This is a great idea or a terrible idea, but I'm going to try it nonetheless.